A snail covers a distance of 38 hole 3 by 2 centimeter in 2 minutes. What is the distance covered by the snail in a minute? How far does it go in one and a half hours? There are two questions. So the first question in the story of the question, we have a cute little snail who goes very slowly and in two minutes time, it covers a distance of 38 over 3 by 2 centimeter. So we have to find out in one minute how much the snail will cover. It will only cover half. We can understand it from the time. But to solve this problem, we have to look at the information that are given in the question. So what are the informations? You have distance. That is 38, 3 by 2. You have 2 minutes. What is this 2 minutes? It says us, uh, it tells us about the time. So, and what is being asked in the question? In the question, you are asked what is the distance covered? You have to find out the distance ultimately. So, the quantity that you have to find out ultimately should be in the right hand side. So, we keep distance in right hand side. And what is the other quantity in the question? That is time. So, we keep time in the left hand side. Now, from the first line, what are the informations that we got? The distance is 383 by 2. So, we are writing 383 by 2 under distance. And in how much time the snail is covering 38 2 centimeter, uh, 3 by 2 centimeter? It is covering this distance in 2 minutes time. So, we are writing 2 under time. Now, what we need to find out? We need to find out in 1 minute because in the question it has uh, been asked how much distance is covered by the snail in a minute. So, a means in 1 minute. We have to find out the distance. Okay. So, for this what are we going to do? We are going to do simple unitary method. The value for 2 minutes is given. We have to find out the value for 1. It's a many to 1 problem. So we will do division. 38 3 by 2 should be divided by 2. But first let's write it in proper statements. So as I told you we should keep the question in the right hand side. So we will just rearrange the sentence and write like this. In 2 minutes a snail covers 38 3 by 2 centimeter. Now I have kept the distance in the right hand side. In the next step I will write in 1 minute a snail covers 38 3 by 2 divided by 2 centimeter. Now we have to do this division. Let's go for it. 38 3 by 2 divided by 2. Before we go ahead with the division there is a mixed fraction. So let us just convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction. How to do that? The denominator 2 will be multiplied to the whole number 38 and then the product will be added to the numerator 3. So 38 into 2 is 76 plus 3. We get 79 and the denominator is 2. It will remain as it is. So 2. So in the next step of the problem, we can write 38 by 2 as 79 by 2 divided by 2. Now, 2 means 2 by 1. Okay. So, in the next step of the problem, what can we do? We will, uh, since this is a division of a fraction, we can just change the division sign to multiplication sign and 2 by 1 will become its reciprocal, that is 1 by 2. We have nothing to cancel over here, so we will just multiply this numerator with this numerator and this denominator with this denominator. So, 79 multiplied by 1 is 79 and 2 into 2 gives us 4. So, our final answer from this division is 79 by 4. The answer to the first question, what is the distance covered by the snail in a minute is the distance covered by the snail in a minute is 79 by 4 centimeter. Now we go to the second question. How far does it go in one and a half hours? So one and a half hours, first it is a uh, mixed fraction. Let us just convert it into normal improper fraction it becomes 3 by 2 hours. Now this is hours. Previously we were doing all our calculations in minute. So first we need to change the unit from hours to minute. Okay. The distance covered by a snail in one minute was 79 by 4. So if we have to go ahead we have to change the hour to minute. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. 3 by 2 hours will be 3 by 2 multiplied by 60. We can cancel here. 2 can be cancelled with 60 because 2 is a common factor to both 2 and 60. 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 30 is 60. And if we multiply 3 with 30, 
we get 90. So it's 90 minutes. Next, our question is how far does it go in one and a half hours? So we have been asked about the distance. Again, we keep distance in the right hand side. Time. Now, previously we have known about how far the snail goes in one minute. So time we will take as one and distance is 79 by 4. This we have already obtained from the previous part of the problem. So in one minute the snail goes 79 by 4 centimeter that we know. So in 90 minutes how far will it go? This is the next part of the question. Again this is simple unitary method. We know the value for one minute. We have to find out the value for 90 minute. So we will do multiplication. 79 by 4 will be multiplied to this 90. And let us do this multiplication. So for this multiplication, uh, we can just cancel 4 and 90. Again, the common factor is 2. 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 45 is 90. If you multiply 79 with 45 as we cannot cancel anymore. So we get this value 3555. All right. So uh, the denominator is 2. Now since our question was a mixed fraction, we can also change this improper fraction to a mixed fraction. For that we have to divide 3555 by 2. So let's do the division. It's very easy. 2 1 is 2 and then if we subtract we get 15 by putting 5 down. So 2 times 7 is 14. Again we subtract and we get 15. 1 and 5 is put down. Again 2 times 7 is 14. Similar thing is repeated. So this 5 has also taken down. And 2 times 7 is 14. Our remainder is 1. So what we get from here? 1777 whole 1 by 2. So this 1777 is the whole number. The 1 we take as the numerator. And the quotient that is 2 we take as the denominator. Now let us write it in proper format. The distance covered by the snail in a minute, that is one minute, is 79 by 4 centimeter and in one and a half hours, it, it goes 1777 and half centimeter.